It's another episode of Journey to Redemption. Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. Happy Sunday, guys. Yes, it's Sunday when I'm recording this video. This will come out on Monday. Yes, this is how behind I am. Look, I've been enjoying other games. You can't blame me. You could, but I'm not going to let you. I'm, I'm not going to let you put that on me. But we're here and we're getting ready to, it's it's the day after Winterfest. I did not record that. Actually, it's a couple days after Winterfest. It is Friday. I think Winterfest was on a Wednesday. Um, and the plan today is to head over to Brightchester because, well, um, Tati is, has been meaning to visit Foxbury Institute. And we didn't get to do that last time because Trenton forgot that. It was Winterfest Eve, and he didn't want his kids to celebrate uh, or go through a Winterfest without any um, Winterfest, I want to say Christmas, Winterfest decorations. So um, the plan today is to go ahead and head over to Brychester. He has the day off. Let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure he does. Yes, he doesn't have work until for a couple days. And then Tati also has the day off. Gabriella should be going to class and we're going to go ahead and have a nanny come over. So I'm going to have Trenton take care of that, um, call a nanny and uh, cancel maze service, hired service. Okay, there we go. So he has actually been noticing that um, Gabriella has been taking Lyric's toys right here. I've been noticing that she was playing with this before and then she pocketed it and then she brought it out in the living room and he kind of asked her about it and she pretended as if she didn't know what he was talking about but he actually knows that his daughter is acting out and he wants to take her with them to pro to spend some time with her but he realizes that Foxbury the tour will probably be boring for her sorry that was my knuckle that cracked <laughs> if you heard that and he doesn't want her moping around so she's going to go to school and then he's going to make a special day for her and her only um what is this career opportunity whoa the corporate boss has arrived at tati's cafe and is really at tatiana's cafe and ordering a latte and is ordering a latte you guys reading is fundamental he is distracted, frowning and listening to the manager, hardly glancing at Tatiana while placing his order. Of course, Tatiana can make sure he notices, serve him something extra special, or should she play it safe and make a regular old latte? Make it special. Why not? Let's take a chance. She got a performance game. Awesome. Tatiana's been training for this moment for her entire career. An extra smudge of espresso, slightly thicker foam then the mass and then the masterpiece i'm so so nearsighted so that is kind of blurry not just a milky pattern but a l towering 3d foam crocus okay basically she got a performance game all right dad i am ready to go when you are um you're gonna go like that probably not let me go take a shower really quick and um, I'll be ready to go. I'm going to check on Lyric. Um, she's still asleep. So she's going to come in here, take a quick shower. Wrong. And um, did we get her off to school? She has class in the 20s. Okay. All right. So Tati's going to come in here and take a quick shower. I'm going to speed through this. And then... Um, Oh, a balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Well, if you do, the kids may tease you. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. He's a doctor. Trenton's a doctor, so his response is going to be somewhat clinical. So eating dirt is really unhealthy. All right. So. We're going to go ahead, get her dressed, get him ready to go, make sure the baby's okay, and then we will see you guys in Brightchester. Yeah. We finally made it to Brightchester, and Tati got in touch with 
Sydney, I think her name is Sydney Keys. Yeah, young lady right here. And they showed up at the house and she basically said she had to run to work. Granted, they were supposed to go the other day, come here the other day, and this was the, t the day they had planned. So this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. So um, they're pretty much footing this little tour on their own. Uh, she did tell them to make themselves comfortable, but they decided that they were going to go ahead and um, tour the campus themselves. Um, yeah, they just feel kind of weird staying in her house. And this, But this is her little house. I'll just give you guys a quick tour. Um, it's a... Oh, she's back. Sweet. Uh, this is Alicia. Alicia. This is Sydney Keys. I want to call her Alicia Keys. How bad is that? And um, Tati's been kind of corresponding with her on and off through email, through text. I am. Um, she's her, basically, the liaison, the student liaison. Um, and... She's been going to Foxbury Institute for a couple years now. I believe her, I believe she's doing journalism. You guys don't quote me. Some, or maybe it's tech, science tech, or computer tech, something like that. I don't know. But um, she's a young adult, as you can see. And this is her little spot right here. Um, the story behind Sydney, she, her, she, her parents were killed in a car accident. And they left her with a fairly decent inheritance. Um, she had just enough money to buy this little, I don't know, what would you call this? A townhouse, I suppose? Yeah. And, um, yeah, this is a townhouse. So they gave her, they left her enough money to buy this outright. And she was, she had a little money left um, to, for her to go to school, pay for her tuition and um, live off of it until she gets out of school i think she does have a little bit of a job but i'm not quite sure maybe a part-time job anyways since we're all here let's go ahead and take a tour of the i guess just foxbury institute i don't know i think we can maybe tour the other uh campus but for now y'all we're just gonna tour foxbury because that's where tati is thinking about going she's not really quite she's not sure yet but she's thinking about going there so, we're standing in front of one of which i think are the dorms and we checked ourselves in so we can go up here i guess um these are actually kind of cute i i tried not to watch a lot of the streams and things like that because i wanted to experience this um, kind of with fresh eyes and I don't know I kind of dig the the um, the furniture these they're a little plain don't get me wrong but um, at least the dorm rooms and the dorm is leaves a lot to be desired but I do like oh I, I love the elevators can we use the elevators of course we can I mean we kind of can I wish these were working elevators I really do like I wish you could actually like build these into but I'm not gonna get into that anyway so Tati's here with her dad and Sydney and Sydney has been trying to give them a tour um, I don't want to go in their rooms while they're asleep uh, but this is the common area oh. uh, this guy looks like Ron Johnson from a uh, different world if you guys aren't familiar with different worlds, I suggest you look, go on YouTube and look it up. He, you cannot tell me that is Ron, not Ron Johnson. Like, somebody tell me this is Ron Johnson from the different world, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, for some reason, Tati already knows him. Um, okay, you know what? She might have been corresponding with him, too. Um, so maybe she can call him over and they can all talk. I don't know if he's going to come over or not. But um, Sydney's just giving her like a quick overview of the dorm situation. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? Don't be nosy. She's just looking around, maybe. Um. Yeah. She's just kind of going off on her own, and Trenton's over here um, giving uh, giving Sydney the 21-question parenting um, 
or the FBI treatment. Um, she's just explaining to him that this is where, uh, this is a co-ed dorm situation. Um, yeah, the girls pretty much stay with the girls, but, you know, the guys do have dorm rooms here. Um, and he's asking how, how Tati, what she thinks about it so far. And she basically told him that she's, she thinks it's okay. She's not really sure how she feels about the situation yet. Um, I think most of it, it she's fearful because I've, I've said this before, this is something that she's going to have to do on her own. And honestly, she won't be even in the dorm. <gasps> Grandma Lily, she's showing up in the darndest places. Tati, come hug your grandma. She's, she, she came over to hug Trent and she's like, I'm so glad to see you. I did not know you guys were going to be here. What are you doing here? Oh, I came to check up on the school that Tati was interested in. She did tell me that she had got some information on Foxbury Institute. And I was just curious. Were you now? Or were you looking at that apartment over there? Oh, let me go talk to my granddaughter. How are you doing, sweetheart? Grandma, I'm so glad to see you. Ah. Oh. Well, how's that mom doing? That mom is your mom. Yeah, yeah, I know. How is she doing, really? I mean it. She's doing good. She misses you. Okay, Grandma. Sure. But what are you doing here? Well, let's just say that I was checking out a place for you. I know that you're considering coming here. You told me the other day, and I just wanted to make sure that there was a place for you to stay. Um, yeah, I don't know about the whole thing about me staying in a dorm with a kid. Well, that's just not going to happen either way, honey. You need a place of your own. It's not good for a child, a toddler at that, to be in a dorm room situation. They like to party, hon. <laughs> okay, Grandma. I don't think I'll be partying. I have a kid to take care of. I'm just forewarning you, darling. I'm not saying that you're going to do it, but it's just not a place for Lyric and yourself. So, did you find a place? I might have. She's actually kind of liking the joint. What is this? This is a mess. This is a mess. Um, Where did Dad go? Where did Trenton go? Where did Trenton go? Oh, he's using the bathroom. I think Sydney left us, guys. She might have had to do something. Who knows? Um, but basically, we're on our own again. And um, she's just coming over here to enjoy the vibe. She seems to be getting along with everybody. Let's give a friendly introduction to who, who is this? Maybe if we didn't turn our headline effects off, we would know who this is. But we were in picture mode. So we're going to talk to everybody, introduce ourselves, um, and uh, see if we can make some friends, even though they're a little bit older. And she's, oh, she's not feeling real good about talking to anyone. She's just kind of standoffish. Okay, I get it. She's a teenager. These are adults. They feel a little bit out of her league, and she's a little fearful. So Trenton's talking to them, getting to know them for himself, and she's trying to talk herself into um, doing this. Okay, Tati, you can do this. You've got to do this for yourself. You've got to do this for Lyric. This isn't about you anymore. It's about this little girl. So this is what you have to do, whether you like it or not. Even if you don't get into Brightchester, if Foxbury isn't your first choice, then but still, you got to do it. So get out there, suck it up, and do the best you can and then some because you've got a little girl to raise and you've got a lot to prove here. A lot of people are looking for you to fall and it's just not going to happen. If we do, we stumble. We keep going. All right? Okay, girl. We got this. What were you doing in there? <laughs> Just kind of giving myself a pep talk. A pep talk? Yeah. I'm... I have to remember that this isn't about me. As much as I want to say... What the... You guys. Was I... Was that a streak... That was a streaker. Okay. <laughs> Back to the conversation. I'm doing this for me and Lyric. 
I just want to make sure that I'm making the right decision. Look, Tati, you've got to make that decision for yourself. I can't make it for you, but just know that you're not doing it just for you. I realize that, Dad. I know. And I just want to do right. I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. I'm going to be here every step of the way. You need me. I'm just a phone call. That's it. A phone call away. I'm coming to get you. But just know that you can do it. I know I can. I just worry. I'm going to be here by myself and most likely can't stand campus. Grandma made. Grandma told me that I wasn't going to be able to, and she felt like it wasn't going to be a good idea either way. She's right. You have a little girl to take care of, and it might be a distraction being here with boys. You just don't want me to be around them. No, I'm not too keen on that, no. But I want you to be happy. Now let's go get something to eat. You got it. Well, this is cozy. Where'd you find this spot? Ah, memories. I took your mother here a long time ago when we were dating. Really? You have to tell me about it sometime. How about I tell you now? Okay. How about we order first and then you can tell me. All right. I'll order for both of us. Let's see what we've got, guys. Let's order for the table and um, let's see what uh, they have. Oh, the sparkling apple juice for Tati. And the root beer float. Actually, let's give them both a root, root beer float. Why not? And then for lunch or dinner, I guess. I don't know what time it is. Um, Probably a late lunch or an early dinner. I don't know. Um, Let's have them have a hamburger. Why not? You're at a diner. Tati will have the hamburger and her dad will have, um, he'll have a BLT. Okay. So tell me about this date you had with mom. Was it trash? <laughs> I don't know why. There was a trash can there, you guys. I don't know. I just went with it. Actually, it was a great first date. Um, it was the day that, uh, she got pregnant. Wait, dad, don't, I don't want to know. No, I do want to know. You mean I was conceived on your first date? So you're, you're saying my mom was fast. Yeah, she was. She was a wild child and I was kind of the good kid, the nerd, but she took notice of me and I was surprised. And I loved your mom. She was great. She was good for me at the time. At least I thought so. Grandma said you guys broke up because you wanted to get married and she didn't. Uh, it wasn't that simple, but kind of. My parents didn't really approve. She was young. She got pregnant. They wanted me to make something of myself. And they thought a baby would ruin my life. So they made it hard for me and they made it hard for her. Your mom isn't evil. She isn't the bad guy. Oh, she looks like she's not happy. She just did what she thought was best. I understand, I guess, but it, it doesn't change the fact that she lied to me about you. But I'm just glad that we're here now. I am too. Let's enjoy this dinner. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, it was a short episode, but this was mostly focusing on Tati getting to know uh, Brightchester and Foxbury Institute and just having a good little conversation with her father. Um, he wanted to have some father-daughter time. He hadn't had much of that since she moved here, since she moved yeah, to Brindleton Bay, even though they live together. Um, her main focus has been working, school, and lyric so they haven't hadn't really had a chance to sit down and talk and this was the perfect time 
for them to do that. And she got to know a little bit more about her mother and then her mother's situation and their relationship, her father and her mother's relationship. So she, she has a better understanding, but she's not quite ready, it looks like, to um, forgive her mom. And that may happen with time. Tati has a lot of hurts that she needs to heal from, including some uh, that she created on her own. With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you again. If you're not a member of the family and you'd like to join the family reunion, by all means, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload at least three times a week. So there's more entertainment for your pleasure. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later and until next time. Ciao.